everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we are back with the HP Stream Mini PC. And the cool thing with this PC is that you can load other operating systems on it very easily without having to hack the BIOS or do any kind of flashing or whatever. You just uh, basically boot it up and hit the escape key. So we're going to do that right now while we're getting things running here. And I have a version of Ubuntu installed on this solid state disk connected via USB 3. You can, of course, uh, reconfigure the partitions on its internal disk uh, or upgrade that disk, as we saw in the last video, to add more space to it. Uh, so you do have those options as well. I'm just going to pop into the BIOS here. I could actually set the boot device order uh, right off the main screen, but I know a lot of you might want to see what the BIOS has under the hood. Not a lot of options for configuring the device. Uh, I'll just kind of step through some of these here so you can see what they are. Um, but really, uh, uh, you don't really need all that much in a low-end device like this as far as what you can configure. So you can do some OS power management, some hardware power management. Uh, there are some uh, thermal uh, readouts here as far as its fan speed is concerned. The fan is pretty quiet on here. Uh, of course, all the standard security kind of stuff as well. And then, of course, you can go over to uh, see what devices the system recognizes. So it's got that M2 uh, SATA drive on there, a little SanDisk 32 gig drive, and then, of course, the 120 gig drive that we installed on there. Uh, you do have some storage options, so you can uh, have it be a, do a SATA emulation if you wish. I'm not going to do that. Uh, we're going to go over here to the uh, boot sources. So if I wanted Windows to boot, I could just go in here and uh, drag that one up higher and put that as a higher priority. But in this case, we're going to put Ubuntu first and go from there. And I'm going to hit F10 to accept that. And then we're going to go out and uh, have the system save those changes and exit. So we'll uh, hit yes there and let it boot up Ubuntu. And hopefully my display will work. Sometimes my video system uh, doesn't cooperate and puts things in like low res. So let's see if we get the full 1080 when it boots up. Uh, what is cool while this is loading is that I have found that uh, all of the drivers work with this thing. We don't have some of the, yeah, we got to deal, deal with the uh, resolution adjustment real quick. I'll take care of that offline. But uh, the nice thing is, is that you don't have to deal with a lot of the driver issues. This issue with the resolution being uh, too small is more of my video system than it is with anything else. But the wireless works. Everything runs fast. Uh, because you've got this Intel Celeron Haswell architecture, things just seem to work pretty well. So let's take a look and see how it does run. All right, I adjusted back to 1920 by 1080. We'll just boot up uh, Google Chrome real quick and maybe uh, just pop over to CNN or another website and just see how things go. But you can see really, even just from like moving windows around and stuff, it does, you can tell when the drivers aren't right. And in this case, everything is right. Uh, it seems to work pretty nicely. Even when I ran uh, some of the Octane tests, we were seeing uh, speeds about the same as we saw on uh, both Windows and Chrome OS as well. So uh, pretty cool. We've got uh, Ubuntu up and running on here without a lot of uh, difficulty. It really installed, I think the whole process from start to finish was like 15 minutes. And if you saw my other videos of where we were trying to like, you know, shoehorn Windows and other operating systems onto uh, the Chrome box, which is really the same hardware, just with a different BIOS, it took a lot of time. It took hours to, for me to figure it out and get everything working and uh, get up and running. Some people might be able to do it faster than that. But uh, this is running uh, Ubuntu in about 15 or 20 minutes. And I can easily just switch right back to Windows if I wanted to. Other operating systems will load in really easy. You saw just that boot order that you can set, put in a bootable USB stick, and you are off and running. So if you like to play around with stuff and you want a cheap PC, kind of bare bones to mess around with, that's pretty powerful for the price, I think uh, this one will likely uh, fit that bill for you. It is really cool. So again, another neat reason to take a look at the HP Stream Mini, and another reason why I'm pretty pleased with this thing. This is Lon Seipen. Thanks for watching.